Our next guest this evening is Kelly McHugh, and she wrote a lovely book called At Home with Cannabis, how to make and use cannabis products safely and effectively at home. And just to give you a bit of a backstory, a mother, wife, and cancer survivor, and a cannabis consultant. In 2012, she was diagnosed with breast cancer, and refusing conventional medical treatments, taught herself how to make and use cannabis oil, and successfully, successfully healing herself in the process. Her success compelled her to assist others to do the same. And today she helps and inspires people to make and use cannabis products to improve their health via her Facebook and Instagram accounts. Kelly, hashtag hot show, hey? <laughs> as well as her blog, The Cannabis Guru at Home with Cannabis is Kelly's first cookbook. So guys, it's wonderful to see local content, man. Yes, guys. Kelly, thank you very much for joining us on the show tonight. Hi, thank you so much for having me. I'm very excited to be here. Uh, could you please tell us a little bit about your story and what inspired you to write at home with cannabis? So, guys, it's wonderful. To be honest, you know, um, it was such an amazing experience for myself, but then I also saw how it helped so many other people. And the more I was bringing awareness to it, the more people were asking me for help and advice. And I really just wanted to give people a, a manual. Like a, a can, you, can I interrupt for a second? Sorry. So that they can feel confident making it. Sorry, can I, if I can interrupt for a second, uh, could you, there's a, there's a volume we can hear an echo. Yeah, fine. Can if you, you turn your you phone turn down? Your phone volume down. All the way down. The other oh, the other. She's watching it somewhere. Are you watching us? You might. It's your other device. We can hear ourselves. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Not yeah, anymore. Cool, so cool, it's just cool, me cool. and the. Cool. Could you? There's a there's a volume we can hear. Okay. Cool. Is it so then, no, no, that's all right. That's all right. Sorry. Okay. Carry on. Carry sorry, on. Man. All right. Sorry We're about such that. Stoners. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I, I, we got hold of the book yesterday and we've all had a bit no, of a read. Awesome. And it is, it's such an, an easy book to read. Your writing is just so, it, you know, it's not like hard. You don't have to think. Like, it's it's such a nice introduction for your average citizen. And I loved, I loved your description of the first time you took it when you licked the spoon. The way you described... Being too stoned. <laughs> <laughs> Nail on the head. <laughs> Absolutely, Jana. That's a classic mistake. Try not to do that. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's a very, very strong stuff. So obviously, you know, you can't, you can't play with it. No, you can't play with it. Now, Buzz said cookbook, but it's not really a cookbook cookbook. There's no recipes for double chocolate dip, orgasm, chocolate, whatever. It's balms and teas and tinctures. And it's, I really love the way that you've set it out. And um, it's, it's just absolutely amazing. How long did it take you to put that whole book together? Um, well, in one regard, not very long, and in another way, I suppose, many, many years. Um, so it didn't take long to actually write it. I knew what I wanted to, like, once I decided um, that I needed to put this down, I knew how I wanted it to, to go. Um, and I had most of that information already there because I've been using it and creating this information for people to use and whatnot anyway. So it actually didn't take a long time. I think it took me from start to finish probably less than three months. Nice. Wow. Yes. Were you ever a little bit worried about coming out of the proverbial closet? <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> I was. Um, you know, when I, when I started, when I started on this journey, I, I was a, a new mother, so you and I'm in a small town, um, so you obviously you worry about what people are going to say and think and whatnot. But I really just felt like this was too important. It's um, you know, and also I believe that um, again because it's a small town, people who know me they know I'm sincere, um, and they would know that I'm telling the truth. And so I must admit. 
I was nervous to come up, but I've had a very good response from people. Um, I haven't had a lot of negative um, responses. People have been very curious um, and I think very open-minded about it all. Has your family come around yet? I see you, you wrote in there about this, not sure about how to let them know that this was <laughs> how you managed to heal yourself. They've come right round. They're, yeah. <laughs> they're all on it. <laughs> good. good, good, good. Great. We're just happy mom's not sick anymore. There yeah. We go. That's and, it. And tell me, Kelly, um, are there any <laughs> other blogs or books that you've enjoyed about the topic of cannabis? You know, one of the, the blogs that helped me the most um, on my journey is, um, it's called uh, Tulsa Styles, and it's by a woman called Sister V. Bush. Um, and it was actually her blog that taught me to do the infused coconut oil. So to, to get away from using the alcohol, which, um, you know, can be very tricky for people and getting the, you know, people using isopropyl rather than food grade alcohol. Um, and the alcohol can also be quite expensive, whereas the coconut oil is so much easier, cheaper, easier to use. And I got that from her. And she's also a local, obviously, with the name of Closer Styles. But um, so her blog, I definitely recommend. And she is actually going to be um, releasing her book soon. I think it's called Cannabis, the Human Companion Plant. Awesome. Oh, amazing. Wow. You see women in cannabis, eh? Women mm. in cannabis, eh? We power. Mm. We <laughs> power. It's about time. Yeah, I agree. Absolutely. You know, it's the one industry we still have that ability to, to give people mm. opportunity. You know, other industries have been taken over a long time ago by male, mm. male influence. Uh, with cannabis, it's brand new, and women like you can still make a mark and, and make an influence on many people. And this book is so gently written that it, for me, it's the <laughs> ideal gift that you would give to someone that you'd like them to open their minds um, it's not like, oh, yes, you know, I agree. Yes, that's it's right. really so, it's, it's the woman's touch. It, I am genuinely going to be recommending this book forever. I mean, guys, I went at, to exclusive books. It's, it's available online. Okay. It's like 200 bucks online, right? I went to exclusive books also like 200 bucks. Crest has got one left. Um, Clearwater's getting their stock next week. I didn't find the rest, but please guys support local this is amazing this is an amazing amazing book and uh, uh tell us kelly what are some of the most frequently asked <laughs> questions that you get since uh <laughs> launching your book oh gosh uh, <laughs> that one you sprung on me um frequently asked questions you know i think most people are just it's hard. People have got different, they, they come at me with different things these days. Um, but then mostly I think they're just wanting to understand how to use it, um, you know, how to incorporate it into their lives. Um, you know, they're curious, but they're nervous. Um, and so most of the questions are usually, um, you know, sort of around that sort of topic and uh, usually one or you sort of addressing one or two myths about mm. cannabis that they've heard along the way. Um, so I usually need to, you know, just put those, those right. Uh, <laughs> but no, it's, it's actually become a lot more diverse, the, the different questions I've been asked, um, which is wonderful because it shows that people are learning more um, about cannabis, that they know different things to ask. It's like the questions are getting harder now. Yeah. You have to put more thoughts into the answers these days. It's not just <laughs> busting good old prohibition myths. <laughs> you have to go, ah, let me think about that and get back to you. <laughs> Uh, tell me, have there been any hateful or <laughs> negative response? Do Absolutely. those sort of people still exist? Uh, not really. Uh, you know, sort of in the earlier days, there were a few people. I think because of the way that I was coming with it with Dory, um, with the cancer, you know, it's cancer is it's a it's a big problem, and I think people are willing to listen to anything that might work. Um, and you know, just because I'd lived through it myself and experienced it myself, it's 
I suppose, difficult <laughs> to argue. Uh, but people are very, you know, they're happy for me. They're happy I survived. They're happy I did well. Um, and so, no, I must admit, these days I don't get any negative. Um, people want to know more. That's the only, I suppose, and this is also part of the sort of frequently asked questions, the only thing I get is that there's still a, um, a bit of reticence towards THC mm -hmm. and people thinking that CBD is the, the only medicinal factor in mm -hmm. cannabis. So I usually just have to, to help them understand but no, it, it all works together. <laughs> Everything has its place. John, there's people, there's some people that are afraid of getting a little bit high, um, but they'll take the yeah. chronic medication instead. But hey, you don't realize how high that chronic medication is making you. Was, the thing was, is, is that the people are also, they're asking you the questions, but they're looking at you and they can see for their, with their own uh, eyes that you are not this unmotivated, lazy slob. No. You know, you are not what stoners are supposed to look like you know there's like red eyes and like human mm -hmm. you know and, and <laughs> that really cannabis brand ambassador you know that's what it is we need it to is. lead by example uh, and we've got <laughs>